55 in the House of Horror. Today I'm going to be reviewing the French film Deep in the Woods. This was made in 2000, it's French, subtitled, and the French, the original French title translation is Let's Go for a Walk in the Woods, but obviously they changed it for us, so I don't know why. Um, directed by Lionel Delfancu, um, he also co-wrote it with Annabelle Perignon. Um, produced by Marc Michonier and Olivier Del Bosque. Um, the cast is Marie Trintignant as Le Maire, um, Suzanne McAleese as Pelagy, Maud Bouquet as Matilda, Alexia Stresser as Jean, Denis Levant as Stefan, Vincent Lecour as Wilfred, um, Michel Muller as Le Policier, um, Francois Berland as Axel de Fersen, um, Clotilde Carew as Sophie, Clement Sibonet as Matteo, and Thibault Truffert, Truffert as Nicholas. Um, I'll read the synopsis. Five young actors are invited to perform their controversial retelling of Little Red Riding Hood at a forbidden Gothic chateau of the mysterious Baron Axel de Fersen, hidden far from sight and deep in the woods. The beautiful and neurotic young actors drive faster and faster towards the venue, the tension rising with jealousy, sex and com competition growing between them. Regular radio and news bulletins increase the pressure with reports of savage rapes and bloody serial killings, something ugly is stuck in the area. Arriving at the chateau they are informed that the audience will consist only of the strange baron and his autistic son. Worse still, after making sexual advances to one of the group, the alarming host disappears leaving behind a clotted bloodstain. The gang are left in an atmosphere of terror, far from help and uncertain of their next move. Is this a psychopath's act of gruesome terror, or are they pawns in a dangerous game? And most people will think the movie High Tension got the French interested in making horror movies again. But in fact, um, this relatively unknown and unspoken about um, movie was actually the reason for the flood of top-notch horror coming out of France today. Market, it was marketed similar as Wes Craven's Scream, well actually told us the French answer to Scream, but this award winner reminded me more of some of the giallos by legends such as Dario Argento. Um, some of the camera shots were definitely inspired by Argento and the gothic decor and feel of the chateau um, reminded me of Suspiria to be honest. Um, the direction by Del Fancu was very good and I can see why it won awards at the time, although it's not as good as some of its predecessors, like Martyrs, Inside and Frontiers. Um, the acting was great, especially Denise Levant as the ultra creepy groundsman, um, Stéphane, or Stefan. Um, the kill scenes were good, although there wasn't ma massive amounts of blood and gore, but when it was on show it was done well. Um, there was a good few kill scenes, there was one with um, a nail gun bolt straight through a guy's throat from behind that comes out of his throat, it looks really realistic. Um, another young lad gets acid poured on his face and it burns off his face off and makes him blind in one eye. Um, yeah, so it, it, there were some good kill scenes and the blood and gore that was on show was good. Um, the film reminded me a little like Shaitan, or Shaitan, I don't know how to say it, it's Satan in, in English. Um, that was a French film from the mid 2000s. Um, but it's more of a slasher film, it's just the feel of it did remind me of that sort of film with the weird French guys in it. Um, and this is like, it, I can understand why it was um, marketed as similar to Scream because it is like a whodunit killer type thing but there was guy, the guy um, who f the first murder was done by just two black gloved hands and that's what reminded me of the giallo most um, the killer is dressed in um, the wolf's outfit from Little Red Riding Hood and it did look alright it looked pretty well um, so 
my overall um, thoughts on this is it was a very well made film that kept me interested right to the end I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 um, I'm glad it was made because we've seen so many good French films after this so thanks guys I would recommend it, check it out and I'll see you all next week